Hello everyone, Priscilla here, and welcome back to watering to watering plants in Simulator 2014. I wasn't kidding when I said I come up here and start watering plants, because this, these are like I think these are the only plants other than the big one out in the garden that like actually give some sizable amount of money. So the only catch is that unless you are really sparing with your money with your water usage, oh, that's a red diamond. We haven't seen those yet. Those are expensive. I think there were 10 million gold, or 10 million golds, actually. Weird. Okay, that just... Alright, cool. But yeah, I'll have to look up, like, the... Like, I should put that in annotation. Me watching and editing. Make sure to annotate... Put a little annotation thing on this to say, Oh, this is what you get from the red diamonds. I, they are worth... I thought I heard my phone. Sorry. The the red diamonds are definitely worth more than the other diamonds. Hey, another another uh, emerald. I can... I know gems. I played Diablo 2. I know gems. Okay, nothing from you. There we go. Proper water usage. It's like I... It's like I know how to play another game that uses water... Like this. But yeah, just lots of money from plants. Oh, there's more right here in front of me. Wind, don't take this money from me. This is my money. My dollar dollar bill, y'all. But yeah, it really helps when, like, when, like, GameCube controllers actually had proper pressures detecting things in the, in the triggers. So you could actually very lightly water things. Because I'm, I know a lot of people who play this just are just like, ah, oh, water everywhere, and they have to go back and get go for another round of, uh, go for another round of water. But I'm gonna use, I'm gonna like I was saying last, I mentioned last time, we can we can split up, we can split up and go upstairs or downstairs. I'm gonna start upstairs first, just because it feels like something I've always done. Um. Okay, I don't need the key to get one of the rooms here. Give me this. So this room to the right is a room that we can go in, but I want to... Oh yeah, this is the window at the top of the house. We can't really see outside of it. In fact, I think we try to... I guess we can kind of see outside of it. We just can't fully see outside of it. But yeah, this is the room here. And this room actually is... This room is actually host to a uh, very infamous glitch, or I guess just how models work. Huh. Not sure exactly how to phrase this. Not sure exactly how to phrase it, but uh, whatever. No, gimme, gimme, gimme. So I guess the ghosts in this one are just hiding in rooms. Or just hiding in the chests. Skeleton, chests, get it? Let's see. Now, I think we only actually have... I think we actually only have a single... <coughs> excuse me. I believe we only have a single, uh... Or, no, we have two more speedy spirits to worry about, and I don't think they're in this area, so to say, so... Are you in this chest? Nope, that's the fake one. But man, is there money. Now, I will tell you that... I'll tell you that just from personal play in the past. I've never really had to worry too much about the flower pot out in the garden. That, ga that gives loads of money. To get the best rank in the game. And I've actually never have worried too much about speedy spirits either. Hello, friend. 300 health ghosts! I should have waited to catch this one because this is all dark up here, so I could lose this guy very easily. Just like that, he's out in the hall. God damn it. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand on this side of him and make him... Nope, he went to the room I didn't want. Okay, we're going to ca be catching booze in mass at another time. <laughs> Don't worry. Like I said, until you save, or maybe after a certain set of time, but I'm pretty sure it's until you save again, the booze... I don't have the key for this room. Downstairs it is! 
But yeah, I guess we don't have the key, we don't have the key for this room at all. Or we don't have access to anything else up here, so I guess I've just I jumped the gun a little bit. But as I was saying, we don't really need I wouldn't worry too much about getting every single speedy spirit and every single golden mouse. Because I, I, ha I remember very vividly that I never knew about the golden mice at, or what the speedy spirits were when I, when I played this game growing up, and I still got the best ending in the game, so. These are just like really simple, these are just like really big, here's very, like, it's big, real simple, hey, here's how you get quick cash to get to the thing, to make the stuff happy, to make your life fulfilled for the day. Anyway, we're going to go down to the basement. I should cut, but I mean, we're already there. <laughs> no fancy editing. But actually, we are heading towards one of the two Speedy Spirits left in the game. Because when we uh, flipped the breaker, we actually got the key to the cellar. Or I guess the pantry. The cellar pantry. So, let me make sure I'm thinking right. Yep. So we have a key to the cellar pantry. Now, crate near the entrance. Oh, there's one. That's a speedy spirit for you. Just, it's just so matter of fact, there, there is indeed one speedy spirit for your butt. So the cellar is an interesting place, as there's dust all over the floor. And you're gonna want to suck it up so you can make some forward progress. But actually, kind of like the tea room. There's also uh, flip pads so you can go in the ceiling, but I think we need to stay on the ground and uncover all this dust just so we can actually um, force the ghosts out of hiding here. Also, things... Dang it. Also, the ghosts are hiding in barrels. You're no crate and barrel. You're no Oral Renbacher. Or was that another company? Eh, yeah, whatever. So I guess I gotta shake more things up. Um... Actually, this shelf to my right here, like, this shelf right here that I'm pointing at flashlight, I'm not going to pound on right now because I'd rather not waste what's there. Um, there is... Let me make sure there's something. Oh, we can leave this room, can't we? Huh. Anyway, I'm going to light it up. That sh uh, this main shelf right in the middle of the room here actually can be shaken to get a big heart out of them, which does heal for 50, I believe. Anyway blue, so there's a key in it, and I bet this goes back upstairs. Or does it go to the sewer room? Nope, it goes right back upstairs to that room we got stuck at. Holy cow. Hmm. Where are you? Oh god. Well, that's the big heart and a mini mushroom. I'm gonna get off the ceiling here quick before I uh, attempt to capture a boo. Okay, not in there. There he is. It is I, Fair Boo Repeaties. Well, he's out in the hallway. But we can still track him down, I think. We'll, we'll try and make him go back into this room. Hopefully. Go this way. Thank you. That's all I asked. I would like to get 40 before I move on to back upstairs, actually. There you are. Now you're mine. 40 ghosts in the vacuum bag. Special bit of info is you. Ghosts in the booze will... You know, this is still telling me tips from, like, the start of the game again. The very start of the game. Anyway, I'll meet you close to upstairs, because the trek back upstairs is long and arduous. I'll see you back there. Luigi has mastered the ancient art of whistle of uh, whistle hum. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry if I if the sound kind of blasts in your ears there. Wow, I glitched up the sound. He is whistling and humming at the same time. Cool, <laughs> just like. 
cool story, bro. Zap. Anyway. Yep, the boot did not come back in here, so I think he's kind of gone for a long time until I find him again. Which will be something cool about that in a little bit once I get to that part. Oh, these, this room. The most difficult ghosts. Anyway, no speedy spirits to worry about here, or golden mice. But, see, these clockwork soldiers, their clue is going to be that they do not like noise, basically, so... Make noise. Drop the base. Drop the merge. So, and then these guys kind of work like the shy guys, actually. Suck off their cork and pull them in. And the reason why these ghosts are considered some of the hardest ones is because the other two in the set can actually interfere constantly in your ghost catching escapades. But oh, Jesus, the blue one. Okay, so the blue one is the one that will give you the pearls, which will count towards your ranking. Oh, the, the clocks are making little are making the Luigi's Mansion song actually right now. Come here, give me you, give me a butt. Oh God, give me those dollar bills too while I'm at it. <laughs> Ow! Could you not? Seriously, that is rude. Alright, here we go again. Hello, Mr. Green! Oh boy. Oh boy, that's gonna hurt. Give me your cranks. Now, unfortunately, even if you catch the one... Even if you catch the one, the other two will still be there, so... Once you catch the blue one, that's it, your rank is locked in place, and you cannot fix that at all. So I probably... There's a good chance I got a silver on that at at best. Excuse me, can I have your crank? Now can I have you? Thank you. Thank you for politely obliging my request. So, you might be asking, you know, no key spawn. Where do we go? We actually go inside of the house where the blue soldier was standing, but we're going to wait on that because, boo. All right, and time for the six o'clock booze. Oh, good, he went back into the lit up room. That's that's a plus. That's always nice that they go back w into these rooms. Except he's gonna go out into the hall now, isn't he? I'm gonna try and get around him here, just so he actually goes away. No, don't go. I'm stuck in the tablecloth. I really hope he went up there and. I really hope he went up back up here to the clockwork room. Really hoping. Like, super hardcore hope. Like, more hope than Danganronpa. Danganronpa. Sorry, I cannot words, ever. Nope, don't go this way. The vacuum's this way. Okay, he went back into this room below us. So yeah, 300 health, 300, 200 health, 100 health, eh. Ghosts of this high health. They always put in like the smallest rooms. Don't go that way. Don't go this way. The vacuum's this way. Well, he's back in here, so it's just a little bit of back and forth, back and forth, if you know what I mean. And now I don't remember where the first boo was that we caught up here, actually, so. This is it. This is all in the bag now. Hey, again. Now, send me the boo and save the data. Okay, so there's no additional boo in this room, so we did not come in here. And let's see, I don't know how much more I can check in this in these rooms. I'm going to shake all these doors open, see if there's anything hiding inside, actually. But this is one of the last things I'm going to do today, is just to check these doors to see what's hiding in here. Because we got actually kind of a large Earth secret coming up in just a second here, so... Alright, I think that's it. Anyway... Everyone, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Luigi's Mansion. And I hope you'll join me next time when we'll actually take a lift up. I'll see you then.